Emily, a 3D artist at CSVM, and I'm going to show you how to create trees and foliage for Roblox Studio from just a single image. The first thing you'll want to do is generate images in the style you want. I went with a low poly type of look. I think this would look best in the environment that I'm making. Um, and then you're going to take that image, segment it, and create a 3D mesh with it. Make sure it's low poly. It would be low poly just because Roblox, I think, only takes meshes up to 10,000 tries. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are generating these 3D assets. Also, if you get images with multiple trees in one image, you can use parts-based uh, workflow and you can just pick and choose which trees you want to generate. This goes for any plants as well. And just the same thing, do it as uh, a low poly. Here are some of the results for the low polys. Um, I'm just gonna export them. You can do FBX, GLB, it doesn't matter at this point. Um, we're just gonna to go take it into Blender real quick. might need some retexturing touch-ups to them so like this tree I'm just fixing up the little bit underneath and some of the points on the top um, you can do this to any uh, mesh and again just export it as an FBX or a GLB or OBJ I'm taking each mesh into Blender and I'm just going to scale it properly and just relocate the pivot point to the bottom of the meshes. Um, this will allow it to align up to the ground and scaling and rotating will be easier. Once I have that done, I'm going to export it as an FBX and then I'm going to select path mode as copy and then I will press the little printer button next to it. This will export it with the textures. Um, just select it objects and I'll export it like that. And here I'm just doing the same to all the other assets that I liked and want in my game. That's done. I'm going to start importing the meshes into Roblox. You're just going to hit import 3D at the very top and then just select each mesh. There's nothing in here that you need to do. The texture should be there like here. Um, if not, just go back and double check you're doing the same export options I did in Blender.
Now I'm just importing the rest of the objects and I'm just editing the scene to something that I like. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this was helpful. Check out the image to 3D on csmq at csm.ai. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!